Hello everybody, my name is Mr. Purple and welcome back to another video of Mushroom Foraging. Today we are again in the Fleet One Forest and right below us right now we went to uh, uh, see these right here because uh, we're walking around we just found something here. So over here you may see there's a little baby, Bolly Sedulous right there and also there's one here and some coral mushrooms that we were getting as well. Uh, this one sadly broke apart but it's still fine, we got some movie fresh there. Anyway here is a little baby we're just gonna cover it up for now because it's very tiny. So just like cover it up, give it a chance. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, over here, if you if we look over here, we have a patch of amanitas, and if I look closely at them. Uh, this is amanita muscaria because I think I can see a bit of a red there those famous red and white dotted mushrooms that we all know that's them there and then some uh, over in front of it we have peppery bow leaves I'm pretty sure that's them wait a minute let's see yeah it is it's a peppery bow leaf I'm gonna spread that onwards around okay so one thing to know about uh, amanitas and bully sedulous is that they grow together like if you see an amanita patches of trends you might find some bully sedulous around in the same area if it's the right conditions which it is since this is a the uh, spruce forest so they'll definitely grow around together we've been seeing some so like if we go here somewhere it's uh where is it yeah over here here is a bully edgeless, but it's eaten away by slugs, at least, so we can't really get it. Um, but, yeah, as you can see, they'll just grow here next to them. If we look around here, there's some other little patches around. So maybe we'll find something around this area. I can't really see it, though, because it's too dark. But, yeah, one thing to know is that you're, if, if you're in an environment like this, you see a patch of amanita muscari or any other kind of amanitas around, and that means you could find some other quality uh, subjects around in the same area. So yeah, anyway, I'll see you in the next find. Alright, so we are in that one part before across from the other forest where we found the, the really nice one that was really brown in the last video. Uh, we're back here again and down here we actually found another one. Uh, this one seems alright since we just picked it up. So, small wood's nice. I'll put that in the basket. Okay, uh, I'm not sure any others around here. Maybe there could be a bit too small. Is that one over here? Where? I don't know, it might be a puffball, I don't know. Over there in front of that tree. I can't really, uh, see through. Just with the light. Okay. <sighs> no, it's not one. Okay. Uh, but looking into the light from the camera kind of just blinds me for a bit. Uh, so it's a bit hard to see. Well, right, we'll keep looking around here to see if you find anything else. So yeah, see you in our next find. Alright, so we're walking further down and we found this beauty right down here. Amanita muscaria. Everybody knows this mushroom. And this is a really nice one. It's grown to a great size. And just it's iconic because of its um these little white pieces on the top are actually from the universal veil, aka the egg sac, which is at the bottom. And when it comes up, they just spread around the cap. Those pieces that just crumble off and just stick to the cap for the rest of his life. But yeah. This mushroom uh sadly poisonous, but um it is beautiful to see around here because I love this mushroom and it just makes the forest more colorful when you see them around but sadly they don't get to that size that easily because they're like slugs and stuff but it is great to see when I actually got a chance to get this big so yeah Amanita muscaria hey so we are off uh, this is a different day this is a video I'll be uploading the mushroom foraging we'll have different parts and different, different days but right below me right now we have a ton of Amanita muscaria. This is the famous mushroom everybody knows and loves. Uh, sadly, it's highly poisonous. 
but they are very beautiful to see over here. So at least some of them need to be in either way. Some grow to big sizes like that. Um, or behind us right now, if you look in that direction, um, behind you more than big ones, yeah. You'll see some pretty big ones like that. Uh, they kind of lost their dots because that sometimes happens when they grow too big. But yeah, it's great to see them around here. That's a nice little specimen right here. And if I, I'm actually going to uproot this because I want to show some of its uh, features. So this is what it looks like fully. Um, usually if you see these growing around, you might find Lolita sedulous in the same area. So keep a lookout. Anyway, we're going to talk about some of its features here. This is the Universal Veil, also known as its egg sac. Uh, when the mushroom is first growing, it grows inside of this egg sac. And if you cut one of these egg sacs open, you'll kind of see the shape of the mushroom inside. Kind of like the shape that you'd see when you cut a mushroom in half. And what would happen is that this mushroom sprouts out of the cap. Wait, not the cap, the Universal Veil. And some of the stuff, this uh, white stuff left over, gets stuck to the cap as it grows, giving those uh, nice characteristic dots as a little accessory for the mushroom as it's growing. And it has white gills, mostly like the rest of the Amanita family. And it has a bit of a skirt, I guess, that's just kind of, I guess, um, dropped down there. But yeah, this mushroom is really pretty it's probably the prettiest mushroom i ever found here yet and there's a whole ton of them growing around here and i've always wanted to find these not just to pick but just to see them um and they can grow to pretty big sizes as well which you might have seen in my one of my last recordings where we found a big one in the other forest on the other side of this one so yeah anyway we're gonna take it apart and what you want to do uh the flesh is also a bit yellow and you want to throw this around and this will help it spread there's also another one over there that I just noticed. Okay, so we have this spread around. This gives the mushroom a chance to grow elsewhere. Okay, there we go. Anyway, we're gonna look around here. Maybe we can find uh, Bolita sedulous around here, if possible. Since I believe we found some around here last time, and I don't know if this is the same patch or not. But yeah, anyway, we'll see you on our next find. Alright, so we just walked down a little bit further, not far from here. We found another one, but it uh, grew a little bit weird. When we looked at it from distance, we weren't even sure if it was a mushroom or not. But it's still okay, it's still in nice condition, still got that nice fat stem, nice cap. Um, over here, just across from it, we have some others that were also lost their uh, um, little pieces. I'm pretty sure these grew too oh, deep geez. underground. Look at the ones over there. Oh, where? That big one over there. Oh my god, I didn't even see that, Jesus Christ. Oh, up there uh, by the stub of that tree. Yeah, let's go towards it. Oh, it's right here. You're all over the way. And this is a good one. These are, oh my god, they're so common here. There's a rotten one right here below it. Just turned into jelly. Uh, there's some egg sacs here, some nice ones here. Over there, there's some others. Ben, what's that behind your foot? What? Is that a stem or something? Hmm? Oh, it was cut. <sighs> Someone must have picked something. Someone got a bolete, was it? Is this... Yeah, that's a bolete. Someone was here. Yeah. Bastard. <laughs> <laughs> um... But yeah, we know that they're around here now. Because that's a stem of one, and there could be others around here. So we just gotta keep looking. And we might find one as well. Everywhere I look around this part, I'm just seeing the amanitas. They're all red. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, we'll keep looking, and I'll see you on our next major, major find. Hello. So, um, yeah, it's another day. Uh, out foraging again, it's gonna be part of that one big video that I'm working on and we're in a completely different part of the forest uh, we, that we found, we found this area uh, we came in through here uh, this area, hang on I'm using, I'm actually using the original camera that we used when we used to have the boat so, 
That's good, we actually found that. It's working perfectly. So anyway, this is where we came in. There seems to be uh, either deer or someone else was using a way to get in. So there was kind of like a little bit of a little path. And then we came in here and we're already seeing Amanitas right off the bat. Just right around here. We have some nice big ones here. These are probably the most beautiful mushrooms in the forest. They're just, they're brilliant. Um, I might take this one up. Okay. Oh god. So, you can see, hang on, I'll gonna set up the camera a little bit. Wait, I got this mycelium stuff on my hands now. Because they're so fluffy. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, this is how big they are. <laughs> Hurts my head. Yeah. And they got... They don't really have that mushroomy smell that you'd usually smell on other mushrooms, but they certainly are really big, and they're great to find around here. They're poisonous, but they're beautiful. Um, there's some babies popping up all around here. Oh shit, snap. Um, but... <laughs> um... And usually what I want to do is, uh, as I said before, I like to spread these mushrooms around so I'll break up the cap and spread them around elsewhere. Then get this mushroom to grow elsewhere. I'm seeing some little clusters and some other mushrooms around here. So we'll get to them in a bit. Anyway, we just came. It's like 10 in the morning right now, I think. Uh, since I overslept, I guess. But, we're back at it again. Uh, okay. I don't know, maybe break this up and throw it around. Probably gonna be hard to do since I'm holding the camera. Like, like this, this is what I like to do, right? So you got this. Wait, hang on. And then boom. Throw it off. This gives it a chance to grow elsewhere. Or just throw the whole thing off. And it'll grow elsewhere. Or just over there. Doesn't really matter. There's also some peppery bowl eats growing around here as well, but they're babies, so we we'll let them grow. Let's keep looking around, Let's see what else we find. Hmm. We don't know what's in this part of the forest, so this is going to be completely new. But, um, I don't know what those are. It's like some kind of fairy ring going on here. Okay, I don't know what the quality in terms of footage is like in um, this camera compared to the other one that we were using. The other one was kind of like a point and click kind of camera. It wasn't really meant for video. But this one is what we used in the past. And I really like this camera and we found it again. So, yeah, we want to see how this one does. This place is great. I don't know how the footage looks directly. It's just it's great. It's today's like what is today? Um what is today? Like the twelfth of October? Fourteenth. Alright, so it's the fourteenth of October. And so we might see some other different mushrooms come up. For example the Amanita seem to be way more common now. And this may be the first year that I've ever seen them pop up. Some other little mushrooms down there. I don't know what they are. The tiny brown ones are probably like the hardest ones to identify because there's so many other species that would look exactly like them. So I just avoid them. Plus they're not even worth picking even if they're edible because they're too small. Unlike the amethyst deceivers which are perfectly identifiable and edible. But you need to get a whole ton of them if you want to make a meal out of them. Or they can be quite small. That happens as well with another mushroom. Oh, Jesus. There's some rotten, rotten wood around here, and I kind of sink down after a bit while I'm walking. But, oh, coral mushrooms over here. Let's go investigate this. That was these big long ditches again. Kind of got to hop around. It's not that hard. And now we're here. These are coral mushrooms. Crown tipped coral. They are kind of dying though, so I wouldn't really pick them. Plus they're not that big. Uh, there's other mushrooms here. This uh, yellow coral fungus. Uh, they're inedible. They're not poisonous. They're not edible. They're inedible. So, it, it's not really that they're deadly or anything. They're poisonous. It's just that 
your body can't really process them or something. Since a few mushrooms are like that. For example, a mushroom called the blackening wax cap. And we found this one in a... I think it was up at my grandma's house. We were there. I was looking in the garden since she has mushrooms growing in her garden. And um, we found one there. Two actually. But I didn't really know what they were. I went home and I researched it. I knew it was some kind of wax cap. And I was correct, it was a blackening wax cap. I see some big orange mushrooms over here. Let's go check this out. Since I got this camera, things may be even better in my videos. Okay. What is this? Oh, fuck. Where's my basket? I forgot. I completely forgot. There's a basket. Oh, shit. <laughs> this isn't the first time this has happened. I'm pretty sure I said that before. But I lost my basket once. Well, as I was foraging. Sometimes when I'm recording, I, I get too off track to the point where I completely forget about my basket. Where did I leave it? I think it was at the start, so it shouldn't really be that hard. <laughs> I don't know if I can see it from here. This forest is a little bit wider than the other one, so I can kind of see a bit better around the area. Huh. Okay, I think I might stop the recording here, and I'll be back once I find the basket. So yeah, I'll see you when I find it. Okay, so we're out of there. Um, that was an adventure going through that. It was really like a bog. It was like there were holes everywhere. We just keep slipping and falling here and there. So I need to the rain. Okay, so we are now walking straight to the main forest that we go to here in Schlitbahn. Uh When we were driving back though, uh, on the cliffs, there's cliffs around here near where the big windmills are. Just on the cliff at the top of it, we just saw like four Amanita muscaria just growing right out of the cliff as we were driving by. And they, they just flew by. So yeah, uh, that was pretty... Nice find, I can see puffballs already in the forest. Hang on if I can get this. I'll just twist the camera around. You can twist the screen of the camera around so I can actually see what I'm recording. There's like uh this also this camera also has a zoom feature. So I like can see there's a lot going on in there. So yeah. We're gonna go in there and we'll see what we can find. I don't think I got a proper shot of us walking in before because when we first came here I did actually film that but the recording, something happened to it, it just deleted itself, I have no clue why anyway, there's a bridge here which is why I like you go onto this and now we are in um, it gets very dark there's mushrooms, these white mushrooms surrounding the entrance, you'll just see them everywhere and there's some other big types, I don't know what they are Anyway, we're walking along, and then it gets a bit muddy here, as you can see. So that's where you kind of stick to the roots of the trees. And eventually, to my left, we will see a little log path thingy. Oh, it's got all the mud. So yeah, if I keep going this way, we'll eventually see some kind of log path. I think he found it. Okay, let's go. Oh, there's some big mushrooms there. I don't know what they are. And some baby bluets next to them. Okay, 
in here. Okay. Alright, so here's a little log path thing. It's like a bridge. And this is the path. This is it. Okay. So just in the middle of the path. It's a resource fun. Jeez. Yeah, there's spots like this where they're muddy. You just keep going. Cross and just look. Oh, I thought I found them. No, nothing. Huh. I'm also looking at these dark mushrooms. So there's a mushroom called the winter chanterelle. Uh, hopefully, I want to find that this year. But yeah, we'll keep going. I'm not gonna walk in the main path because it's too muddy. I just I don't know what that is. Oh, it's a russula. Some kind of russula. It's just a baby version of those other ones growing around here. This place, when we first found it, was infested with russula mushrooms and it still is. The species of russula that grows here, I think, is poisonous. So I believe I researched it before. Now this is when we start to look around a bit. We might find something. There's webs everywhere, so I'm kind of just trying to wipe them off my face with some water. That's the one thing I hate about this place. Is there's spider webs everywhere. Okay, I think this is where we start to find them. They're very, um, once you know what you're looking for, you'll kind of spot them easily. Okay, we keep walking. Okay, I think this is the part. We we'll kind of start seeing them. Just around the sides. This place looks a lot greener than I remember. I don't know why. I think we're in the part though. And we usually see them around the trees. Just at their bases. And usually you'll see this these white buds emerging. What are these? Uh puffballs. Just very Messed up puffballs. I don't know if I got that in camera. Yeah. Uh, that broken. Oh, oh yeah, that branch. Yeah, yeah cause we, we know that this is the part from that broken branch. And there's Amanitas here already. So they like to grow with them. There's not many that's just coming up. And that is a good sign for not just bullies that just but sometimes other bullies in the area. And there's more there. And another one over there. I don't really look in this part much. I think this is where I found that one good one before. It was on like a little lump part around here. I don't know, we'll have to keep going. It's kind of hard to concentrate. I might not be accurate on filming things because I'm not so looking around for the bolites as well.
It's a blue it. Yeah, it's a blue it. It's a nice size one. We'll keep it there. Blue it's a edible. I tried them before, I don't really like them. I don't know if the bald eats have stopped fruiting or something. Maybe they have, I don't know. We'll keep looking. Something there. I don't know what this is. Alright. Okay. So, I'm going to end uh, uh, the video here. Well, not the whole video, but just this recording. Until we find something. Uh, I don't know, maybe the bullets have stopped fruiting. If so, that'd be sad, but anyway. So, yeah, I'll um, record again once we find something else. So, yeah, I'll see you there. Okay, so we were walking further, and we actually found one. It's not that bad. Now let's just try to get it up here. Oh, there we go. That's nice. It's nice and chunky. <laughs> Alright, so we were going a little bit further, and we actually found one. Uh, yeah, it's a decent size. I actually got a recording of it coming out, of, the, of me picking out of the ground, but the recording stopped for some reason, so I had to record this again. Which fucking sucked why I had to do it at this time. But anyway, here it is. It's a decent size so far, but maybe we'll find some more out here. So yeah, I'm gonna add that to the basket. That's our first find of the day. Man, what's this one? Oh, what? What's that? That's one as well. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's a big one. Oh, oh there we go. <laughs> there, just so they're around here. We'll keep looking around. Maybe we'll find some more. There's a peppery bully here. It's very past its prime though. Uh, I'll kind of look around further. Maybe we can find some more. It's around these trees somewhere. Oh. Oh no. I'll keep looking though. Maybe there's some others. So there are two in that one spot, so there's gotta be more in there, boy. Okay. I'm gonna keep looking, or though. But yeah, two so far, that's not bad, and they're nice sizes as well. Oh! Uh, there it is. No, they're Amanitas. But maybe somewhere. This is peppery bowl eats or that's all I see. Um, but yeah, I'm checking every single spud like that. Just those little um, small ones just coming up. They could be ones. They're even big when they're underground, so you might want to get them no matter what. 
So the next day they might be eaten by slugs or even taken by another forager. So it's better just to get one whenever you see it. doesn't matter how big, how big it is. Well, it depends on what area you're in. Just if a lot of animals or other foragers come around to get them, then you might want to pick it right away. Because it could be gone in like a couple of hours or something. And this happens especially with these bullets. Because all of the wildlife goes crazy for them. But I'm happy with these two sizes that we got. Yeah, I usually just break all the toys. Um, let's keep going. This place kind of looks alright. Yeah. There's some white mushrooms just dotting the place. That other one was actually growing next to puffballs, I think. I forget. Oh, Amity, this is over here. Yeah, we'll come back up, will we? Um, I'm going to go over here. How many of them are scary? There's some big ones as well. Those are like, look over there. There's, they're common around here now. They're just everywhere. They're just trying to infest the place. They're beautiful to see. Well, they're sadly poisonous. Uh, anyway, there's a whole bunch of them here. So this might be the right time of the season for them to just start sprouting like crazy. And around them, you want to make sure that these are egg sacs, because these are the universal fails. That's what they'll pop out of. That's how they get them dots on their caps. But those could be mistaken. Oh my god. The bowl leaf just fell out of my basket. Hang on. Okay, I think we're good. Okay, so I'm back home now, as you can see, I'm in my room currently. And this is what we found today. I'm just gonna show you. These are the mushrooms we found today. This bowl leaf and this one. This one's big and it's pretty nice. It's got a nice little brown on the cap. I actually have a light um, over here. Or I can kind of just show you how they look from like a certain angle if I position it. Yeah, there we go. That's good now. Yeah, that's them. They seem fine. And they're pretty good. It's not bad for today, but I think the reason why we're not seeing them much is because it's coming into winter and they might be stopping to fruit like they're going to be stopping the fruiting uh is the camera focusing Come on. okay i i don't know it's a little bit blurry if i like because usually it focuses on the light there we go yeah that's what i was looking for okay so i think maybe I don't know what way to have it. The camera position is a little fucky. So, anyway. But yeah, these two are just good for today, I guess. Um, as I said, the reason why they might not be coming up now as much is because it's coming into winter and they're gonna stop fruiting. So, we're not really gonna see them growing, probably. Um, so, from now on, what I'm actually gonna be focused on finding is the winter chanterelles. Which are a type of chanterelle that grows around in winter, usually around November, even these up. Mm. Or even in January. I don't know. But yeah. Usually around then. And in the next week, we should be getting a new boat. So I'll actually be able to do videos on the boat as well. We'll be going places like Drummond's Island again which is where I used to go and that's where I found other puffballs that's where I first found my winter chanterelles so we'll go there again but there's also another island that we heard of called uh, Hog Island it's in Lockheed uh, it's one of the islands in Lockheed 
and uh, we went to a restaurant next to the marina where we used to keep the boat at and they had chanterelle soup and I ordered that and it was pretty good and I asked where did you I asked the woman the waiter um, I asked her where do you get these mushrooms at and she said that there's a, an, an island called Hog Island in the around near the edge of Loch Key and you need to get a dinghy to go there so we're thinking of maybe getting a dinghy or a kayak with the boat uh, so we can go in shallow waters and so we can go to that island and we'll see if we find chanterelles there if you want to hunt for chanterelles you want to go in uh, spring or summer but for the winter chanterelles you want to go around winter and it's coming to that season so we might find some soon so yeah that's what some that's what I'm gonna be mainly trying to look for in spring of next year we might be looking for chanterelles and moral mushrooms which pretty much um, a lot of foragers have heard of nearly every forager has heard of a morel mushroom and those are I've never tried them before uh, but I do know they grow in like parks and stuff and like leafy areas so they can be a little bit difficult to find because they blend in easily kind of like with the winter chanterelles they blend in with the leaves so yeah we'll be looking for those next year uh, the chanterelles more importantly yep because I've never really tried them on the run before I've heard they got an apricot kind of smell to them uh, I don't know what they taste like though I did try them in the soup but I'm saying like I, I didn't really get their pure taste so I want to try that out but my favorite mushroom will always be the king bolit it is more affordable than truffles uh, truffles, I don't even know if I'll ever get to find them because they grow underground under trees and usually around the 1800s or around then they used to use pigs to get them but the pigs would eat the truffles so now we use specially trained dogs uh, to get them and yeah I don't know how you exactly train your dog to hunt for truffles but I don't know I'll look up onto it. Since I never really study truffles, I'm mainly just after the other mushrooms since I never really plan on getting truffles. But I do know they're probably one of the most expensive ingredients in the kitchen. So yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna be ending the video here. Uh, this is probably this video is probably like a big compilation of all kind of moments from days when we were um, foraging for mushrooms. So yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna end the video here. So yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, turn notifications so you don't miss a single upload. In my next video of uh, Mushroom Hunter, we should be in winter and we will be looking around for um, winter chanterelles. Uh, my next actual video, I will try to do the Bottomy Corporation. Um, I, I'll try to do that again. I want to actually start doing videos now whenever I can because at the moment I'm I haven't uploaded for a long time and that is because I'm very busy at the moment um, mainly because I want to get like different footage on foraging or I'm studying about mycology or since I am modeling and doing game development I need to focus on that as well and a ton of other things as well and plus we're getting like the household and we're moving and shit uh more already moved but we're still doing stuff around here so yeah anyway uh my next actual video as i said before yeah i'll try to do the bombing corporation i'm still thinking on what i'll do for the halloween special because that's usually the big thing in the year besides from the channel's anniversary this is mr purple signing out i'll see you in the next video Bye bye